What's up guys? In this video, I am going to show you the steps on replacing the spin actuator in your washing machine. This is a problem that happens with many different manufacturers, whether you have Maytag, Whirlpool, or whatever. Of course, this one is the Centennial model. And the problem that we are facing is that the washing machine has stopped spinning. One of the causes of that problem is the spin actuator. And I actually have one here for this particular model. And I will leave a link down in the description below. I would highly recommend that you look over the different types that are available and it's a good idea to actually open up your washing machine and look at the specific model for your machine and order by the matching part number because uh, one thing that can happen and it did happen to me is that i looked up the part by the model number of this washer and when i got the part in it was not the correct one so i had to go back and order the correct part using the particular part number that is on the machine itself and of course i had to take it apart before i got that far but hopefully this is something that will solve this issue and we can get this back in operation now of course doing your own repairs is something that can save you some money so and it's a very simple process and that's what we're going to be doing in this video again the problem originally was that the machine would not go through the spin cycle so, okay this is one of the main causes of that looking up all of the troubleshooting guides online and this is one of the common themes so we're going to begin with that much easier to spend 25 or 30 dollars on one of these and solve the problem than it is to spend several hundred dollars on a new washing machine simple process we've got to tip it over of course i've got it unplugged i've got it pulled out where i can tip it over uh, it's a good idea to put down some towels or something else to help catch the water because some water will run out of the machine when you tip it over so here we go i've got the washing machine tipped over and the first thing that i am going to do is actually remove this cover to give myself a little bit more clearance to get to the part right here is the shift actuator let me just zoom in to show you okay you can see right there my fingers on it and that is a uh, there's an arm on that shift actuator that goes down onto the side of the motor here and whenever you do this type of a project this is also a good time to inspect the belts for your washing machine and go ahead and replace those of course i'm going to be removing this cover it's just a couple screws make sure that you also inspect the belt the clutch and it's also a good chance for you to clean that clutch as well because if that clutch is dirty you're going to have some issues sometimes they can get some build up in it that will cause you problems and cause it not to function get that out of the way and give ourselves a little more room before going through the trouble of removing the existing part it's a good idea to actually compare the two to make sure that you have the correct piece as i'd mentioned earlier uh, mine when i first got it um, i looked it up by the model number of this washer and it was the wrong part so i uh, didn't discover that until i actually got this upside down got it pulled out and noticed the differences in it one of the differences of, is of course the plug okay you want to make sure that the plug will match and of course we know that this is the right one okay i've removed the plug all i've got to do now is pull out a couple of screws and we should be able to get this actuator off just a couple of additional things that i wanted to mention is that the shift actuator is what actually engages the clutch for the spin cycle and that's why if uh, you don't clean any debris out of that clutch uh, you can still cause uh, yourself some issues you can still have some issues 
So make sure that the clutch on the washer is uh, moving freely and you can actually replace. In fact, this is the best time just to go ahead and replace that clutch as well. I'll leave a link down in the description below to where you can get the parts just for that like also. That. As I had mentioned earlier, this is a great time for you to inspect that belt and go ahead and change it if necessary. I don't need to on this machine and uh, so we're just going to put this new actuator back in place and call it good. Now you need to pay particular or close attention to this opening right here. The arm on that actuator has got to go through that in order to be able to function correctly. So make sure that this arm goes through that opening right there. That opening is the connection point between the shift actuator and the clutch itself. And a good probable cause for the shift actuator going out is because of uh, the clutch not moving freely. Back into its location. If necessary to replace the clutch, all you have to do is remove the nut in the center of the pulley, then simply uh, either depress the four tabs or twist the housing uh, for uh, on the clutch to be able to release it, and then it just slides right off. There is a spring behind it as well that will come out also. In. That will vary from one model to the other. Once we get it plugged in, we just got to put our cover back over that belt. Very simple process, guys. Yeah, there's the new actuator. Here is the old one. And again, I will leave a link to some of these actuators where you can pick them up from Amazon down in the description below. So be sure to go down there and check that out. Our next step is to get this washer lifted back up, get it reinstalled, and try it out. Guys, if you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know if this is something that was able to help you solve an issue with your washing machine. Check out the links down in the description. And guys, as always, thanks for watching. That thing's spinning now.